Hey, what's up, guys? I have a quick unboxing here for you. This is, as you can see, this is An American Werewolf in London, uh, filmed by John Landis uh, from Arrow Video. This is a, uh, what do you call it, a special edition or limited edition set. It comes with the, um, the regular case plus a poster plus a booklet, um, which is awesome. I'm looking forward to checking this out. This is one of my favorite... Um, uh, werewolf movies. Uh, I think the first life is has the best transformation of all the werewolf type movies that are out there. That's just my own personal preference. I don't know what anyone else thinks, but um, I just think even you know, fucking what, thirty-seven years later, is this eighty, eighty-two? I can't tell. Let's say where is it? I think it's eighty-two, but I might be wrong. I probably am wrong, but um. I personally think it's a great transformation scene. That's one of these ones. So I got some tape here, some tape up here. I don't want to rip this either. I don't want the J card I like to keep intact if I can. There we go. And I can just pull this off like that. There. Now hold still just a second. And what I do is I fold down the tape here, so I can still utilize this if I want to, but uh, I'll probably just put it inside. On the back is just a, a pentagram of some sort. What's this here? Not much. Let's see. I got a couple little dingy things there, but that's not anything that I care about. I got this from Diabolic DVD. It's only like the second or third time I bought anything from them, and uh, they're much faster than anyone else. I guess that a full week early. Um, uh, so let's take a look at the features here. There's a description of the film, which you can pause if you want to. And here's a list, the long list of all the features. Now, I don't know what it'll say here. Uh, let's see, a new 2019 restoration from Original Camera Negative. That's cool. Um, new audio commentary. Uh, newly produced feature length documentary. That's pretty cool. Mark of the Beast, The Legacy of the Universal Werewolf. I'm looking forward to checking that out. That's awesome. With John Lattice, David Naughton, Joe Dante, and more. An American filmmaker in London. Newly filmed interview with John Landis in which he uh, reflects on um, British cinema and his time working in Britain. I think he's a Jew. The Werewolf Secret. New, he's a new video essay by filmmaker Joe Spira. Or Spira. The Werewolf Calls Horn. Oops, excuse me. So I, I guess you can just read this if you want to. I'm not going to read everything off here, but there's a lot of new stuff here. And uh, let's see. And at the bottom here, limited edition, 60 page perfect bound book featuring uh, written by Craig E. Mann and Simon Ward. Cool. I like these sets because they're obviously sturdier than the regular things. I like this um, material too. A lot of times, well, Sometimes they're kind of made of, um, I don't know, there's different. I don't know how to describe it. But I like this. It's pretty cool. Here's the new artwork again. This is the poster, which is just the bottom there, too. And here is the booklet, which is very cool. American Wolf in London. It's black on the back. Let's take a look at the inside here first. It is a single disc. Oh, okay, that's cool. And some postcards, I think. And what is this? Dream Demon. And then a Arrow Academy Arrow Films kind of little leaflet here. That's cool. And then some postcards, looks like. These are all the same image in the back. There's the guy from the escalator. There's the dude from the hit by the bus. There's I can't tell this is people at the, the that's them at the um the pub before they got attacked. That's them out there walking before they get attacked. The beginning of the movie when they're walking around this uh Irish uh, Scottish County countryside. It's, no it's yeah. Where's that? Polygram Pictures presents. And that's him during the transformation scene, which is like I said, is very cool. And there's that guy again. So that's that. And then a regular disc here. It has the alternate artwork on there. 
This is the artwork I'm used to seeing the um, regular, like the actual post release art, which is cool. All right, yeah. Neato. Goes back in there too before I forget. Okay. Here is the poster. Ooh, it's that other artwork I like. Hold on. This is another older poster of the film, American Wolf in London. It's that like blood splatter wolf picture. And on the other side is just the newly commissioned art. Which I like as well. Very neat. Show the transformation at the bottom there. Fuck yeah. It's funny seeing um, behind the scenes when they made the film that the, the, the werewolf was on this little cart and it's really not very terrifying to look at when it's just sitting there. But in the film, it's very well done, I thought. Oh yeah, let's take a look at this too. Okay, and this is a XH40 60 page book, almost 58 page. Yeah. The Slaughtered Lamb. Is the name of the pub. And we got some cast and crew, Sick as a Dog, Body Horror, and American Wear of London, One Full Moon, Two Young Stars, Work of London, Can Rick Baker and John Landis Top the Howling. Reviews and other restrictions. The usual stuff. I'll do this real quick so I don't want to, you know, give too much away if you haven't seen it. If that gets just write write ups of the. What year was this? Is this new? Craig Ian Man, that name's familiar. I don't know. Ned What's His Face all fucking eaten. There's that guy. Wonderful moment to young stars. Very cool. Oh, gross. <laughs> Look at that. That's one of his dreams in the like, Nazi zombie things. Ah, shit. Keep fucking it up, sorry. Nah, damn it. Well, it's a lot of uh, essays in here and then images from the film. <laughs> He's getting more and more decayed. There it is right there. See that? It's fucking weird. I remember the last time I watched the film, I noticed um, in one of the scenes with the werewolf, you could actually see... Um, the apparator, like in the the very, very, very last frame of that scene with the with the werewolf, you could see the operator's foot or something come into frame as it cuts away. I thought that was awesome. It's just you know, I'm pretty sure they had a low budget when they made this. I, mean, I think so anyway. I'm not sure, but um, it's just cool to see stuff like that. And I don't care. I think it's a great film. Like I said, a great um, werewolf transformation scene and just a brutal um, like, uh, monster. Yeah, well, I'll do that later. But, um, yeah, there it is. Pretty cool, right? And I'm sure, well, I guess I'm not sure, but I'm assuming they'll probably release this by itself at some point with the new transfer and stuff, just without the, um, the case and stuff. I don't think anything else. They're not going to have a new disc. Nothing special about the disc, just the, the case. So, yeah, that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Um... Like I said in my just video I just made like yesterday before, um, I'm gonna try to do more update videos. I just did this one mainly because I felt kind of like it. I just got it today and I wanted to watch it, so I figured I'd unbox it for you. And it's a little early, so I figured why not? People can see the contents and see if they want to buy it. Like it's, I don't think it's sold out or anything. So if you want to get it, you still can um, on Amazon or Diabolic or wherever. But uh, yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you again later for more um, unboxings, updates, whatever I do. So. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you later. Bye.